Hello everyone, my name is Nikilesh. I welcome you to my channel RP Techno Hub. In today's session, we're going to learn about one of the most important data table activities called filter data table. So first of all, what is filter data table? So filter data table is an activity which filters the data records from a given data table on a given condition. So we need to have a source data table on the basis of condition that will be filtered out and will give us the data records out of this data table. So if you see data table will have records, right? So each row would be considered as records. So when we have such collection that can be taken into our data table. So these are the inputs, the source data table and the condition are the inputs and data table is gonna be our output. So having said that, let us see how we can implement that with a simple use case. So if you see here, I have got a Excel sheet, right? So which has got sales order records for each and every customer. So if I have to filter out these records, right? Say on the basis of invoice, let's say if you observe here, the invoices are prefixed with I, INV and IN. So if I have to filter out the records or the invoices which are starting with INV, what I need to do is that, so I need to read this Excel sheet into my UA path. So here I have done that. So I'm reading that Excel sheet into your path data table. Now what I will do is that, so I'll just make use of filter data table activity. So here I have just dragged and dropped and click on this filter wizard. And as I said, so input data table is required to be given here. So I have read the sheet content into sales DT. So here I'm just providing the sales DT. So Intel sense has given you that sales DT and here we need to give the condition. So if you see here, uh, row filtering mode, that means do you want to filter it on the keep basis or on the remove basis? So first let's go with keep. So here I want to keep the records on the basis of the condition that I'm specifying here. So what is our condition? So invoice number, So just keep that in double quotes, invoice number should start with INV, that is my condition, right? So if you see here, starts with and just specify INV. So that is it. So that will give you the list of records which are starting with INV, the list of records for which the invoice number is starting with INV, right? So uh, let us see, and uh, we have given inputs, but we need to take that into our data table, right? So let me just give uh, INV records. Okay, I'm just keeping it as INV records for now. Uh, control X, Control K, just create that variable that is not present. Yeah, we got that data table created. And after that, what I'll do, I'll just use right range activity so under file workbook so i got the file path here just specify that file path and the sheet so i'm just going to create a sheet so let's say filter one and what data table to be written into this particular sheet so here i do not have any filter one sheet so that will be created and what data to be written in that particular workbook so I have got this in records, right? So that is the filtered records. So just specify that. And uh, the records will be written into this particular sheet called filter one. And uh, I'm just adding the headers. The headers will be added. So let me just close this Excel sheet before running the process. So I do not have any sheets there, right? So let me just give a quick run using F5, that is debug run. execution got completed. And if I go to this particular path and see that file, so here it just got updated. Let me just open it. So I got a uh, filter one sheet created. So if you see here, so I got the headers and if you observe, I got four records right so i got four records in filter one sheet so if you observe here again 
So how many records are there starting with uh, INV? How many invoices are there? One, two, three, four. So all those four, Mr. B, Mr. D, Mr. G and Mr. H, right? So the same records came here. That's how we can filter the records. And let us just uh, explore the further, uh, you know, uh, the further options that we have got in filter wizard. So this time what I'll do, I will remove. So on the basis of remove, okay? So I'm filtering on the basis of remove. So I want to filter this data table called sales DT uh, by removing certain, certain, you know, records. So let's say I want whatever uh, the invoices that are starting with INV, those are required to be removed, okay? And uh, those are required to be placed in another, you know, another uh, data table, okay? Let me just create two, okay? And here I will specify two. Okay, so what I'm doing here that I'm just removing. So on the basis of remove condition. So whatever the invoices that that will start with INV will be removed, and the rest of records will be taken into invoice records two collection, and that will be written into filter two sheet. Let us just do that quickly. And before that, we need to close this Excel. So you see, there is no filter two. And I'm just closing it and just run it quickly. So it has completed the task. And if I go in here and it's just got updated, and if you see here, I got all the records which are not starting with INV, right? So Mr. B, Mr. D, Mr. G, and Mr. H, are the records which have got invoices starting with INV and the other records are displayed over here. So that way you can use either keep basis condition or remove basis condition. So that's how we can do the filtering. And coming to output, even here we got a keep basis output column and remove basis output columns. What are those? Let us just explore that, okay? So let's say, if you observe the first two filters, right? So it has fetched all the columns, all the columns from the input sheet are retrieved, right? So now I do not want certain fields, okay, certain columns to be removed. What can I do? So I'll just go in here in the filter output columns. I'll just remove certain columns. Let's say I do not want location. So what I'll do, I'll just specify location, okay? So just click OK. And uh, the filter condition, I'll keep it same. I'll keep the filter rows condition same. Invoice number should be, should not start with INV. And I'll this time I'll say three. Okay, the second filter condition, but I am just removing setting column, okay, location. So this needs to be created. Control K, Control V. Yeah, invoice three got created and say three and filter three. So now filter three sheet will be created. So there is no filter three sheet. Let me just close this quickly and run it. Just do F5. It's completed and let me just go here. It's just, it just got updated. And if you see here, I got all the records which are not starting with, you know, all the records for which the invoices are not starting with INV, right? We are good. But we wanted a certain column to be removed, that is location, right? So if you observe here, there is no location field added here in this particular sheet. So the second, you see the location which is present in the second filter that is not present in the third filter that we applied. Right, that's how we can use remove. But what if I want to remove certain fields? Okay, let's say here we uh, filtered only, you know, we removed only certain column called invoice number. I want, let's say I want uh, store to be also removed. Okay, so what can I do? I'll just click on this plus symbol. Okay, say, just copy the same store. 
directory this time store okay so here i'm into uh, filter rows okay let's say let's remove this you can you can apply another condition but i want to remove certain column right so just click on go to output columns click on this plus symbol and uh, specify that store okay the store co column will be removed that means that will not be included after filtering the data table called sales dt right so i want this to be stored in another uh, let's say let's say let's say invoice records four right control k four so invoice records four got created so this time you will get to see these fields not getting added into the invoice records for data table and as well as in filter for sheet in that particular workbook right so let me just give a quick run again just by clicking f5 uh yeah i forgot to close this sheet so there is no filter for sheet right so let me just close it and give a quick run again f5 so there is no uh, records in the filter tree so my bad again so i i should have updated this so let me just quickly do that so that is four so it should be four here right so that is the inverse record four and let me just give a quick run again my bad i forgot that now uh, it got updated let me just quickly go there and see that fourth sheet so if you observe this fourth sheet there won't be there shouldn't be any store column right so let me just go in there yeah there is no store column so in the filter 3 we removed location and in the filter 4 we removed even the store column that's how we can have couple of conditions okay let's say here in outputs so i applied two conditions that are location and store to be removed from the output data table okay and similarly you can have couple of records you know couple of conditions added here just by clicking on plus so this time what i'll do i will apply one more condition let's say uh invoice number okay let's let's go to this thing A add okay that means keep so here i'll add column let's say uh i want i want ac okay so i want the product to be ac so what i'll say i will just take product is equal to ac okay so so since i have kept and right so it will be taken into consideration that invoice number should be starting with inv as well as the product should be ac if both the condition are true then the records will be stored into this invoice records along with this removal condition right so location will not be considered will not be taken and then store will not be taken into this output data table let us just quickly run that and uh, so here what i'll do i'll just create another data table or you can store it in the same data table it doesn't matter but i'm just removing it yeah just create it and save it and give a quick run after closing the excel workbook okay so there is no filter 5 so filter 5 i'm just creating filter 5 sheet and uh, so invoice records 5 cool yeah we're good there we didn't do the earlier mistake now so let's give a quick run f5 started execution started and execution ended so let me just go in there and uh, open this particular workbook and you should be able to see the filter file sheet right and uh, if you observe here so there are only two records written on the basis of what so if you observe here so we wanted the invoices that are starting with inv and the products should be ac so if you observe here carefully right 
So there are only two records starting with, I mean, of course, there are four records starting with INV. So these two are neglected because the products related to them are not AC. But if you see here, for these two INV invoices, right, the products are AC. And that's how the only these two, B and D are picked up, right? B and D are picked up, Mr. B and Mr. D. And if you observe roll, sorry, store and what is the fourth column location are not included. So I hope this is pretty much clear that how to use the key basis conditions for the filtering rows and remove this basis conditions. And in the, even in the output, how to use keep and remove, right? So I hope the session is informa informative. If you think it is helpful, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.